I'm Josh, and this is My Favourite Dead Person, where we explore some incredible lives from throughout New Zealand's history. Constance Barnacote was a journalist, interpreter and mountain climber. She knew loads of languages and travelled the world reporting on important things and translating for powerful leaders. In her spare time, she liked to climb mountains and now even has one named after her. Do you have a mountain named after you? Bet you don't. Constance Barnacote was an interpreter, activist, journalist and mountaineer. She was the first woman to climb from Aoraki to Westland. Wow, Aoraki, Mount Cook. That's the tallest mountain in the South Island. So she climbed from there to Westland, which is like right across the Southern Alps. Yeah, women in the olden day, when they climbed mountains, they wore dresses. Dresses? Do you think that'd be hard? Yes. When it's like windy or blow your dress up. Ah! She didn't like it and she thought it was stupid, so she wore pants climbing up a mountain. She was the first one to do that. And everybody was shocked that she was wearing pants even though she was a girl. Mm. My dad wore a kilt when he climbed a mountain, which is very bad for anyone behind him. <laughs> she has a mountain named after her. What's the mountain called? Mount Barnacote. If you could call a mountain anything you wanted, what would you want to call it? Tall Mountain. Is Tall Mountain actually tall though? Yeah. Because I've been to like Mount Cook and there's no cooks on it. <laughs> what? I just don't want to be disappointed twice. I don't know. You gotta call it Mount I don't know. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Have you climbed Mount I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first annual 1902 Mountain Wear Fashion Show, coming to you live and direct from the capital of climbing fashion. That's right, we're here in Tekapur. When you're hanging off a mountain miles in the year, fashion and modesty are of the utmost importance. So let's start the show, because the people at Tekapur are giddy with excitement. <gasps> the whole village has come out to play. First on the catwalk this evening is Frida. Whether going to the post office or scaling the tallest peaks, women in 1902 will definitely do so with all of their internal organs squished together in a corset. <laughs> but doesn't she look stylish? <laughs> That's the price of beauty, Frida. Next up, here's Hilda. Do you know what's not particularly warm and hard to walk in? <gasps> That's right, a giant ankle-length skirt. Who needs practicality when you can have modesty? <laughs> That's OK, folks. Hilda is fine. She was cushioned by the half-ton of fabric she's wearing. Next up, here's Constance Bodycoat. What is this? Well, I have seen some things in all of my days, but this takes the cake. A woman mountaineer in <gasps> trousers. Lightweight, warm, flexible, durable, and totally fit for purpose. <gasps> I am appalled. I mean, what's next? Woman playing rugby <gasps> in shorts? You're dead to me, Tekapur. Constant Barnaco knew six languages. Six languages? What were they? Spanish. Spanish? German. French. Latin. Italian. Italian. Italian? English. English. I have a word from each of the languages she can speak and some random ones in there. You guys have to guess which language and what it means. Ready? What's Hello, word? French. What word is it? Bonjour. What? What's that word? Guessing. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. Gesundheit. German. German, yeah. It means sort of good health, health. And you say it after someone sneezes. What's this word? Spaghetti. English. That's English. What? Well, it is used in English. Italian? But yes. it is actually Italian. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does anyone Italian know what it means? Pasta? Yes. Yeah, it sort of means like yeah. strings of pasta. I like old mints. You like old mints? <laughs> I mean, I like old mints. <laughs> I like it uh, with a... Have you got some old mints here now? 
All joking aside, have you got some old mints? No. No, min no mints? Oh. New mints, have you got new mints? I like it with new mints. Oh, you like it with new mints? Yeah. Oh, you like it with mints? Sorry. Yeah, I and you... cheese. Scientia potestas est. It looks Spanish. It does, doesn't it? It's not. Oh, is it Latin? It is Latin, yeah. It means knowledge is power. Come on. <laughs> Coughing? That means, oh, come on then. Uh, if you speak, Michael Jackson. Hello, Constance. Haven't seen you in a while. You went to Europe, right? How was the trip? Play, bien. I know that one. That means good. Very good. <laughs> Why, thank you. Je voudrais un uh, miche de pain, s'il vous plaît. Is that French? Well, I don't speak French, but conveniently, I do have a French to English dictionary right here. Let's take a look. I would like a loaf of bread. I would like a loaf of bread. I got it. Merci. Oh, no, I got the sentence. I don't got your bread. Ich verstehe. Ich freue mich, dass ihr Geschäft gut lauft. Hey, hey, no need to get angry. I wasn't getting angry. I was speaking German. It's actually a very beautiful language. Ich laden ist wunderschön. Ob vus es an, brot man gilt. Ma, obviamente, non bello come l'italiano. Potrei avere una bottiglia di latte per favore. Ah, Italian. Let me see. Latte is milk. So, bottiglia must be... Bottle of milk. I got it. Si, si. Well, no, no. We don't have milk. Pull a de deal. Well, maybe we could speak English, a language we both speak. Hunk to burn him, noctus chibum. Is that Latin? Si. Well, I don't speak Latin, so you're going to have to translate. I said, does this shop have any food at all? Well, no. No? Why not? Well, we're a hardware store. Hammer? Verdammt! Aqui está, no? Do you think you guys would be good journalists? No. No. Maybe. I think you should interview me. You can ask me whatever you want. OK. Uh, where are you from? The South Island. Timaru. What is Timaru? Great question. Um, where are you from? I mean, did you hear what she said? Yeah. Okay. You can ask us. Okay. Timaru? Mm hmm. Can you juggle? Can I juggle? Yep. Show, Show us. us. <laughs> Cats or dogs? I haven't eaten either. <laughs> <laughs>